A packed Duluth City Hall tonight as counselors prepared to vote on a resolution calling for a permanent ceasefire in the war in Gaza. And dozens of people braved the weather to attend tonight and share their opinions on the proposed resolution, many making emotional pleas over an international crisis. Northern News Now's Kara Kopp was there. A lot of passionate voices filled the council chambers Monday night. If we do the right thing here tonight, I will know through the call for a ceasefire that it is really safe for me and other people of color to raise our children in Duluth. However, not everyone who addressed the counselors agreed. And I'm confident you do not have authority to make this resolution. Your authority relies in the physical boundaries of the city of Duluth. Since its introduction to the council agenda last week, the permanent ceasefire resolution has caused residents to come out by the hundreds asking the council to either vote for or against the resolution. The waves of people leading to a more than two hour public comment period Monday night. We can do both potholes and we can, can have a democratic process that hears the people and, and, and moves on our concerns. Many asking the council, which is also divided on the topic, to make its voice heard on the global stage. In Duluth, Car Cop, Northern News Now. Now, there is so much public testimony tonight. The council still has not voted on the resolution. That meeting is still happening. And while some councilors hope to join the likes of Minneapolis and St. Paul in officially calling for a permanent ceasefire, others tell us they plan to vote against it, as saying while they hope to see peace in the Middle East, their main concern needs to be the handling of city business. As soon as they vote, we're going to have the results on our website.